Okay, hello everybody, and welcome back to Dragon Age Origins Awakening. So, I'm going to take off my stuff for now, because it's Ready. really distracting. It's like super... What shall I do? Super distracting. So hopefully I don't have to encounter anything horrible in the next little bit. So I guess I should go talk to these people first. I'll talk to, to, to you. To business then. Ole sent a dozen wardens to the vigil to await your arrival. And then they did Nearly all died in the attack. But Kristoff is still in the field. What do you mean, Kristoff? Uh, why are we... Oh, um... What, why, why is he in the field? The Olesian wardens were uneasy that the Darkspawn weren't going to ground with the blight ended. Kristoff was sent to track down some leads. A fortnight ago, oh, he left he in a helpful. bustle. As best we figure, he went to the city, Amaranthine. Hmm. Why aren't... Well, that's what he's trying to go find out, isn't it? Kristoff, um... Did he reveal anything of what he, he found? He did, but not to me. The wardens keep their own counsel. How did you know the joining ritual, then? That's really weird. Um, why aren't the Darkspawn... Wiser men friends? than I have worried over that. One of the wardens said the Archdemon's strength gave the Horde some semblance of purpose. If they found some other purpose. <sighs> and Randy isn't small. Only so many places travelers visit. I check the inns and taverns. Of course, always. That's the only thing that needs immediate attention. Do you want something else, Commander? Uh, what does the Sentinel As do? much as you like, sir. What? Generally, the keep Seneschal takes care of day-to-day -day matters. If anything important arises, I'll alert you. Oh, can you tell me about the vigil? We call her Keep. the vigil. She's been around for a long spell. They say the Alamari barbarians first built a fort here to stop Tevinta incursions from the lowlands of the Waking Sea. They say that the castle is built on a mountain of bones. Much death here. Oh, the veil is thin then. Awesome. Okay, farewell. Yay. What? What? West? What? Oh. Yay. Wait, what? Garibald didn't tell me diddly squat! <laughs> oh my <Come> gosh. <laughs> this is Sir Garibald, the new captain of the guard. This game. I have a matter to bring to your attention. You're kind of gorgeous. Mm. Potentially important? urgent. The Olesians, wardens, I mean, began gathering in information while they way. were here. The most promising lead they found was a wild tale a couple of hunters told. Oh, okay. Um, uh, what did they These claim? hunters, Colbert and, well, the other one, claimed to have stumbled across an entrance to the deep roads. Darkspawn all over the place, they said. And this was before the fiends appeared throughout the whole Arling. The wardens were just about to send someone to track down Colbert. What about the other one? Okay, so where's Colbert? Col Colbert? <laughs> Col uh, these hunters may found the dark. Where is he? Colbert and his friend are in the city of Amaranthine. Probably amongst the refugees outside the city gate. Oh my gosh, on, I have two reasons to go to Amaranthine. Last of the Legion? What? Maybe I should stop reading these. Commander. Report. What do you know My about the... My predecessor, Captain Rollins, and much of the senior staff were inside the keep proper at the time. Oh, so you're like How brand new. How they met their fates is unknown. All we know is Darkspawn swarmed the keep. Where were you at? Um, how many soldiers survived? Barely any, truth be told. And none of the wardens. Well, but God there are dang. many soldiers still out patrolling the roads between here and Amaranthine. We can recover from this. Where did they come from? I talked with the dwarf Voldrick earlier. It's his oh, belief, maybe he's the and I concur, alchemist. that they came from the keep itself. Or Arcanist? The deep cellars go very deep oh. indeed. Voldrick suspects the Darkspawn found a hidden route into the keep. Well, why haven't we found it yet? There's only so much cellar, I assume. That is... Disturbing, Commander. But all throughout the lands, we've heard rumors. Tales of new Darkspawn. And they can do ones, magic. Forged out of nightmare and shadow. Something grave is afoot. I have Good other day, business Commander. to attend to. Thank you, Commander. Else, though. Grim, Report on sir. the situation. 
It seems as if every darkspawn in the kingdom has been driven here. The soldiers are split between protecting the Vigil and the city of Amaranthine. Scouts report darkspawn throughout the Arling and amassing. Why? Where the soldiers aren't patrolling, the land is dangerous, Commander. Very dangerous. Okay, Good day, bye -bye. Commander. All right, then I will talk to you. Warden Commander, a pleasure to meet you. I'm Mistress Wolsey, sent by order of the First Warden at Whitehart. Oh, really? I'm to act as treasurer of the oh, Arling okay. of Amaranthine. He believed local men could not be trusted for this post. One oh, of those okay. local men is right here, Mistress Wolsey. I have nice. every confidence in the Vigil's loyalty in the matter of arms. But gold corrupts even the most resolute soul. Are you, um... Uh, freaking Tranquil or something? <laughs> uh, you're from Weishaupt. Not Weishaupt itself. I'm from many places. I go where the Wardens command. Why? Sir, the Arling is on the brink of economic collapse. Trade must flow. Merchant caravans are being systematically attacked somewhere along the Pilgrim's Path. It is the only route that can reliably provision an army, feed a city, and maintain civilization. Indeed. Um, I, I'm new to this Arling. Which road is the Pilgrim's Path? It is the road path? here from Denerim. You can see why it would be important. In the city of Amaranthine, there is a trader, Mervis, whose caravans have been hit particularly hard. He may know where along the road the Darkspawn, or whatever they are, are striking. Could it be bandits? Um... Have you ever been to Weishaupt? Nope. Why does the... No, uh, I need more the wardens. The Ferelden's are a proud people. They are proud of you, especially. Had the first warden sent foreign fighters, it would have caused great distrust amongst the locals. Mm. Barrel was specifically chosen as Seneschal because he commands great respect here. Um... I've never been no. to Weishaupt? Whoa! It is far really? to the north. Oh, okay. The fortress is said to be impregnable. It still has the areas where the griffins of old would breed. But their like will never be seen again. Why? Why does the First Warden care about Amaranthine? About the Arling? He does not. But about the implications? A great deal. When Warden Commander Dryden was cast out of Ferelden generations ago, it created a dangerous precedent. Her true story, and that of the Warden's exile, is one you yourself Woo! uncovered at Soldier's Woo! Peak. A great personal risk. I did, We're now I presented did. with another precedent. Wardens owning lands and commanding fealty from lesser nobles. If your Arling succeeds, it will be an example to other kingdoms that Wardens are important, blight or no. That will be Very all. well, Commander. Thank you. I know I'm supposed to get a, um, uh, a quest from her called Trade Must Flow. I hope I, I didn't get that one. But I don't know when I'm supposed to get that. I know, um, Subby was saying that sometimes it's hard to, like, sometimes the dialogue options, I think, is if I was reading it right, the dialogue... You have to get specific ones to get specific dealies. Okay, it looks like I I don't know. I don't want I don't really want to read too much into the wiki. It has a di completely different name at the beginning than what I know. It says something about the Silverite mines and I do know that Subby said again before I go into the Silverite mines, I have to make sure I get someone named Lilith in a random encounter along the North Road usually. So, hopefully it all works out. Out. Who are you? What? Who are you? Oh, are you? A, you're an elf. Oh, hello. Should we get a move on? Okay. The Tower of Magi has sent me as an ambassador oh! commander. In addition to my diplomatic function, I'm a competent enchanter and runesmith. Is there anything you need? Wait, wait, wait. Runesmith? Oh, I get... Okay. So, um, so you're not a tranquil. Uh, uh, blah, blah, blah. that's cool. I don't really want to buy any runes or anything, and I don't have any extra runes. Farewell, Commander. If you had a freaking staff, I would love that. Grandmaster Hail Rune Tracing versus of Dreams. So somebody likes books. <laughs> Armors. Ah! Dragon Wing. What? 
Their legion bard Ariana sold her patron secrets to their enemies and fled to Navarre where she was captured and killed. When equipped with the trickster's gloves, boots, and cap, the character's spells or talents cause a trickster! That's so cool! Armor 9.99. That's interesting. Uh, cool. Oh, uh, everything. Yes, I would like everything. Book. And the vassals and their liege. That's cool. Who are you? Mistress Woolsey says I can set up shop here. The place yes. is a shambles now. Chops. But I reckon that will change in time. You need anything, Commander? Let me see what you have. Boo. Um. Well, I don't know if I should sell anything now because I'll probably be getting new people, right? And that means that I need to equip them, but gosh, dang it, all my stuff is gone. <laughs> ah. Um. Sure, I don't really, I don't really want any of that. It's just taking up space. I'll keep some of the warmth balm that has proven useful. And I'm going to keep the stamina stuff, because I'm not really sure what that's all up about. Wow, I do actually have a lot of runes. Jeez. Okay, Malachite, Garnet, Blank Vellum. Uh, okay, what is this? Um, wind. Armor can be upgraded. <gasps> oh, yeah, someone was saying in the comments that you can upgrade your armor now. Ooh, ooh, a chance to avoid missile attacks. Okay. Oh my gosh, there's a bunch of armor runes. Plus two constitution. Uh, plus one armor. Okay, that's the barrier. Okay. I'm not gonna use the lightning or the grandmaster rune. Backpack! <laughs> yeah, give me the backpack. <laughs> Yay, manual shadow. Oh, is that, um, is that, uh, it's, uh, it's a specialty, isn't it? Okay. Do I have any junk? Oh, okay. Well then. That looks good. Ogren! Need something pummeled? Just say the word. So it looks like I just have Anders and Ogren right now. These, it doesn't look like these doors go anywhere on the map. Um, oh, chest. Personal storage! Frick yes! Thank you, it's about freaking time. Oh, wait! Oh my gosh, this is all the stuff that I put in... Is it? No, no, it's not. Yeah, yeah. Wait. No. Okay, it's not. I had Duncan's sword with me? Oh, I need to sell those things. I'm not going to sell Beastmaster, though. That's pretty cool. But I do need to go and sell the... The, like, junk stuff I picked up. Toss. 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 Uh... So, one of those, I guess. Let's see, did I pick up anything useless in here? I don't think so. Oh, there's, there's a book behind you, too. The First Warden. I want to read that. I want to read that. What's the creature? Oh, the Disciples. Huh? Oh! After some sort of process of awakening, ha ha ha, after which they choose their own names. They are cunning, powerful, and hold influence over non-awakened darkspawn. They're called the Disciples. That's creepy, because that means they're the Disciples of somebody. Uh, First Warden. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Is this gonna, is it gonna be in here? Ba, 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 ba. Grey Wardens. First Warden. The nominal leader of our order is the First Warden. Is that their name? I thought it was just Warden Commander. Right, the guys up in the Anderfells are kind of really... Yeah. 
Oh. Who is this? Who is this? Confident a report for the warden commander from who? Huh. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> from a guy to statecraft. Okay. A you need anything, Commander? Anything? I love it. It's a little junk. Okay. We should be good for a little bit then. And she's the 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 person who does things. Oh, this is cool. I only have two. <gasps> yes. Uh. Oh man. Oh man. Two mages. Well, one and a half mages and one and a half warriors. <laughs> I can't really do anything with sp uh, spells as much as I would like because I don't have a dang nav staff. Blimey, Commander of the Grey. Right. A while back, they caught a thief. You're and a gorgeous. Took four wardens to capture him. Gave one of the wardens a black eye, he did. Half joking, they said he might make a good recruit. Um, okay, this is sudden. <laughs> uh, interesting. Uh, or where, where is this? He's in the now? dungeon, sir. I also have some letters. Arrived just before you did. Show them just to me. Give me a moment. I'm not mad. Oh. Okay. Thirty sovereigns. You can't afford thirty sovereigns. I guess it is pretty expensive. I don't have thirty sovereigns. I bet you she's like this. I bet you the girl arranged it herself. I'm gonna just guess that. Good wife, Elena Turnoble. Oh, okay. Prisoner. Pri Her name is Private. Uh, Dungeon. Oh, uh, Companions. Prisoner. Ah! -ha -ha! Well, why did I have to come? What do you do automatically? I haven't even looked at your tactics. Wow, there's a lot of people around who want my attention. Um, okay, I guess, uh, back into the keep, we, no, how do you get to the dungeon? Okay, it's behind me somewhere. Whoopa! Well, oh, here, Vigil's Keep, dungeon. And a journal detailing your adventures. Yo, let me just, let me just, is this a book or no? No? Yo. Yo, yo. Should we get a move on? No, not you. Ah, Commander. Good thing you're here. Don't keep your back to him. This one's been locked up. Oh my gosh! Now. Who is this creepy? Good men died while this one was protected in his cell. Uh, who is he? He won't give his name. All I know is he was caught poking around the estate in the middle of the night. I'd say he was just a thief. You best be careful. Yeah. Whoever he is, he's no ordinary burglar. That's for yeah, sure. Yeah, well, Zebran was pretty cool, but I'm not so sure this time. As you it's wish, just... Commander. I'll tell the Seneschal you came. He'll want to know what you decide to do with this man. You guys all have long faces and, and very similar hair. Um, um, I don't want to just let him out. Man, no, I want to talk to him first. This is really stupid. Nathaniel, haha, I already know your name. If it isn't the great hero, conqueror of the blight and vanquisher of all evil. Well, you Aren't certainly you supposed seem to jaded? be ten feet tall with lightning bolts shooting out of your the eyes? The lightning bolts come out of my hands. Uh, uh, <laughs> the dark spawn probably thing. Are you trying? I see my reputation precedes me. I'm gonna be snarky if you're gonna be it snarky. Does. I know you best as the one who murdered my father. Oh, are you ra I'm how? Oh. Howell. My family owned these lands until you showed up. Do you even remember my father? Oh yeah, I killed him. Uh... Ah, you're the Earl's son. Now it makes sense. Your father brought this end on himself. My father served the hero of Riverdane and fought against the Orlesians. Yet our family lost everything. Did you know what I he was doing? I came here. 
I thought I was going to try to kill you. To lay a trap for you. But then I realized I just wanted to reclaim some of my family's things. I don't believe you. It's all I have left. Okay, just how much do you know about your father? If you're asking whether I knew what he was up to, the answer is no. I was squired in the free marches. Look, I know you're a hero. You fought a war and you won, and to the victor go the spoils, right? Whatever my father did, however, shouldn't harm my whole family. The house are pariahs now. Those of us left. It's all thanks to you. And now you get to decide my fate. It's your fault, man. Uh, you came here. Ironic, isn't it? No. Um. Um. How much? How much to do? Okay. Do I get to ask all of these? I understand we had trouble capturing you. I'm not you. without skills. My time abroad wasn't spent chasing skirts and drinking wine. What skills are those Hunting, exactly? Hunting, scouting, poisons. Ha! <laughs> poisons. Why? What do you care? Oh, sure, 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 sure. What will you do if I let you go? If you let me go? Uh, I don't know. I only came back to Ferelden a month ago. If you let me go, I'll probably come back here. You might not catch me next time. Mm-hmm. You're not making the best I case. I could lie, if you prefer. Nah, I prefer honesty. Uh, your family... Um, do you really hate the me so much? The Darkspawn are a menace. If it weren't for the Blight, maybe my father would never have done what he did. But I can't do anything about them, can I? There's just you and the Grey Wardens here in my home. Perhaps you should work to redeem You're your right. name. I'll go join Queen Honora's service immediately. I have better She'll idea for you. She'll certainly want another how around. Mm -hmm. I've decided what to do with you. Already? Good. I brought the Seneschal for you, Commander. It's not his family's fault that their dad I was see a you've crazy spoken man to at our the guest. end. Quite the handful, isn't he? Yeah, I just have walked he in. It's fine. To be done with him? Mm, did you know this was Nathaniel Howe? Or do oh, um? I don't. Okay. A uh, Howe. He figures that they would turn up again. The Howes are implacable enemies, Commander. I wish to invoke the right of conscript. Is that a good idea? I don't have a rogue yet, so I feel like this is a good idea. And he is under the companions list, so I wish to invoke the right of conscription. You what? Yeah, I'm you sorry, didn't expect Commander? this, buddy. The right of conscription? On the prisoner? No, absolutely not. Hang me first. You don't uh, think this is better than dying? Hard to say. You like having Grey Wardens who want you dead? Some of my best friends have wanted me dead. You really want to have a Grey Warden? <laughs> you are a very strange woman. I can't decide if this is a vote of confidence or punishment. Both, Bucko. An interesting decision, Commander. Come with me, sir. We'll see if you survive the joining. You shouldn't know the joining! Guy! Oh, okay. Ugh, interesting that Vitaly... From this moment forth, Nathaniel Howe, you are a Grey Warden. The moment of truth. Do you... Does he know if you die or not? This guy's face is creepy. You gonna do it, buddy? The how is stronger than I expected. The how? For better or for worse, he will live. I'm used to having people who want to kill me behind my back. Interesting. Uh, okay. Yay, he survived! Um, what, what, oh, Codex. No, Codex. Uh, no, he would, he will be in the, the new characters. And, oh, I did read Anders. Oh, no, wait. Yeah, he is recruited to the Grey Wardens. He survived. Ah, Grin. He survived the joining. His extensive experience drinking bitter swill likely helped. 
and his passion for drink hasn't ended. Oh, wait, whoa. Whoa, wait! When the blight ended, Ogren settled down on his old flame fell scene and had a child, but domestic bliss did not last, so Ogren traveled to... What? What? He just... Ah, I hate it when people do that. It's like, don't settle down and have a kid unless you're ready to. Mari did not make it. But she was laid to rest as a Grey Warden. You know, I was like, yes, that's nice. Morrigan. After the battle, she disappeared. Nathaniel. So was he really just trying to reclaim some family treasures? He is a sensible fellow who values practical gifts over useless trinkets. Okay. <laughs> Odd for a noble. Um, I, I received things? What items did I receive? Oh, did I receive his stuff? Or something? Trickster's tunic? What, what was the other one I had? Trickster... Did I have something else? No? No, I didn't have something else. What, what did I... Bear's Embrace. That's new. Oh, it's how wore this armor during the Chestine Uprising. Isn't Amaranthine... That's the Arling that you... It, that's yours if you're the Kuslins, if you're the human nobles, right? Okay... Well, where is he? Um, you can have your stuff. I'm, I'm not, I'm not sure where the rest of it is, but ornate. I, I assume these are yours. Do we have any boots for you? Uh, um, maybe these rough, this, oh, they have to, those have to be yours, because I didn't have any, anything rough, you know? Okay. 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 I, I didn't pick up his stuff, though. Can I go back in there? Oh my gosh, you people. You people are just... Just give me a second. Let me go back into there and try to get his stuff. Uh, yes. sure. Just take you off. Yes. I haven't even left yet. <laughs> I haven't even left the keep. Heroic accomplishments. Oh, hello. Whoa, hello. Wow, jeez, everybody's in my face. And they're all taller than me, except Ogryn. Okay, so I assume his personal effects came with us then. Weird. Okay. Um, supplies. Soap on a rope? Soap on a rope! How quaint! <laughs> Okay. I wonder if he would like soap on a rope. Is that a is that a is that a sensible thing to have? I don't know why soap on a rope would be a sensible thing to have. For beer, beer, beer. I think it said I explored ninety eight percent of the world, so I feel pretty good about that. Ah. Okay. Well, let me go back inside and talk to those people who had stuff over their heads. Again. There's arrows everywhere. Uh, is he... He is in here. Hold up, hold up a second, buddy. Don't worry. I'll keep my mouth firmly shut. Portrait of a how? Why don't I just wait in the corner, then? What? Funny. Oh! Considering all the things that have been taken, it figures this would still be here. Um, what's so funny about that? My father hated my mother. He only dragged this painting out when my grandmother visited, which was not often. I'd be paraded before her like a soldier on inspection, and she would pick over every floor while father awaited his turn. What? 
Um... Why did he hate your mother? I don't really know. Her family was wealthy. I remember that much. They wouldn't touch me with a ten-foot pole now, of course. I'd be as welcome there as a bad rash. Anyway, someone should take this down. I think it's staring at me. Okay. Odd. She looks pretty. Not that that's a great judge of character or anything, but... What do you want? Commander, the Lords of Amaranthine have come ah! to swear fealty to you and the Grey Wardens. These were our Rendon House vassals. Now they will be yours. Uh, who served that asp of a man? What do I need to know Some about Some of these them? lords bore Rendon no love, yeah. but others had their prospects ruined with his demise. Yeah, maybe Nathaniel can help Tread me out. Tread carefully, Commander. Lords and ladies, I present the Warden Commander of Ferelden and Arl of Amaranthine. Well, uh, Alessa. Uh, uh, okay, persuade. I still have a high persuasion, right? Our differences are many, but our causes... Ban one. Esmeral of Amaranthine. As is old custom, you have the honor of beginning. I promise that I, Ban Esmeral, will be faithful to the Arl in matters of life, limb, and earthly honor. Never will I bear arms against her or her heirs. So I say, in the sight of the Maker. Thanks. I promise that I, Lord Edelbreck. Oh, uh, and so you're, the ceremony you're, is you're complete. You're the one on my Long list. Long live the Warden Commander. Oaths of fealty. Okay. Uh. I gotta talk to him? Oh my gosh! Okay, not not all of them. Just some of them? Nathaniel, what do you think? Lord what? Guy? Uh, Sir Tam Tamra? Lord Guy? Van Esmerel? So there's just four guys? Alright, well, since you were first, I'll talk to you. A pleasure to meet you, Commander. Oh, okay, so we go eight. Honored to meet you, Warden Commander. You come to us during desperate times. Not more about your precious farms, Edelbreck. Some in our Arling do not have the comfort of city walls. On the plains, the situation is dire. Uh, what seems to be the problem? As we feast, the peasants on our lands are starving, or worse. The city's defenses are more important, Edelbreck. There may be wheat in the silos now, but if the farmers die, where will you get your food? Hmm. Uh, I will send the soldiers wherever they are most needed. I will take the matter under advisement. Um. Um. I will send the soldiers wherever they are most needed. Then I pray to the Maker that your choices are wise. Defending the land. Uh Okay. We out. Um Warden Commander, we've all heard so much about you. So many good things, unbelievable things. But many of your deeds cost people here a chance at great advancement. So many fortunes were deeply intertwined with the old Arl. So some nobles here, they seek to end your dominion over them. Um, I need their names. I cannot give what I do not possess. I've had occasion to intercept some of their missives. Who are you? They are cryptic things. You're a Any knight? Any individual message is unintelligible, but together they form a pattern. They mean to end you before you can begin. A deadly coalition. Um, and... How do I know this isn't some game of yours? A conspiracy to murder me? I I'm take flattered. this matter seriously, Warden. They know of your capabilities, and they're spending a fortune to see their aims fulfilled. Given a few days, I can retrieve the messages. I would have brought them tonight, but I didn't know if warning you would be wise. I've much to lose and precious little to gain. Farewell. We will meet again soon. Okay. Okay. Do well, then. It's an honor to have you as our liege, Commander. Okay. 
Hey, Nathaniel, what do you think? I don't think we should dally here. Okay, I will take that into your advisement, apparently. All right, I think I'm done. Ben, or not Ben Tegan, uh, you... Let me know if you want the nobles cleared out. Uh, <laughs> if you want the ceremony to end, I mean. Um... Who do I need There's to really only here? two who can offer real support in the war. Lord Edelbrecht, master of the Firavel Plains, controls more farmland than anyone else. He's powerful and popular. Ban Esmeral rules the city, wealthiest in the room by far. She may not be loved, but she can't be ignored. Edelbrecht says we're not going to Edelbrecht speaks land. truly, sir, but things are dire. He and Ban Esmeral both contest the deployment of soldiers. But we don't have enough men. It's a matter of what you want to protect. The city, the land, trade. Ah! <laughs> um, we do need supplies. Trade must flow. Uh, the city has its walls. It farms, though? Trade? Eh. Okay, trade. That's all I can... That's the only tip I've gotten is uh, something about trade. Wish. What did I do? Okay. I hope that was an okay thing to do. But she didn't talk to me. I see that Lord Edelbrecht wastes no time in canvassing you for soldiers to defend his farms. Do not be deceived, Commander. His livelihood is all he cares about. Amaranthine is the jewel of the Arling, and she must be protected. Uh... <laughs> Why protect the city over the Pragmatism. country folk? A farming hovel can be rebuilt with straw and mud. Only if the people are alive. It doesn't falls, matter. And this great Arling will be diminished. It doesn't matter. Wealth it's the is people. Well and good, but what measure do you put to human life? The folk in the country outnumber your city dwellers many times over. I would not be so vulgar as to violate the decorum of this event, Commander. Eh. Did I already fail at it? Uh Yeah, I, I, I did it. I did it already. Okay. Um, I guess actually I'm gonna call it here. I don't want the recording to get too long. And I think it's already glitching out. So uh thanks you guys for joining me. I'll see you in the next one.